And if it's evil in your eyes to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve, whether the gods of your fathers served in the region beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Joshua twenty four fifteen. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm Don. I thank you, Lord God, for your word and your grace upon this word this morning. For my brothers and sisters, Lord, and I ask, Lord, for life in this word. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory. <laughs> Sometimes we have to choose a word that might shock and awe and bomb and, and, and drive a point home. But uh, choose this day whom you will serve. We have to make choices in this life. And that's really what this word's about. What uh, Joshua was saying to his people was, make a choice. If you don't want to serve God, don't serve Him. <laughs> if you want to serve those gods over there, serve them. That's for me and my house. We will serve the Lord. Glory. Glory. Bob Dylan had a song and and part of the lyrics was you got to serve somebody it might be the devil or it might be the lord but you gotta have to serve somebody you know uh i'll take this on a deeper spiritual plane and say that uh you know you either are for the lord or you're against him <laughs> and part of basic training is making a decision to walk in the direction that you're going to walk, um, to be religious isn't enough. To 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 go to a certain church isn't enough. To to have excuses aren't enough. We have to make a choice in our lives. Who are we going to serve? Are we going to serve ourselves, the flesh? Are we going to serve the world and be just like them? and live in bondage? Are we going to serve the Lord? And and even when we stumble and fall, we'll get back up and continue moving and not allow anything to stop us in our progress. Like yesterday, uh, uh, not remembering the things of the past, not living in that past place, releasing that in the day before about forgiveness. I think it was the day before. <laughs> but um, we have choices to make. And it's our choice. God isn't going to supersede our will. I was thinking about this this morning. That God will not, absolutely will not supersede your will. If you say, deliver me from this, O oh Lord, you continue to do it. We'll say like smoking. And you continue to do it. And you don't put any effort to quit. Why should He take that away from you? We have to make decisions. And sometimes we have to make hard decisions. And sometimes we have to just begin to step out in faith. You know, there's areas of my life that, you know, sometimes I think they're overcome, fully overcome. And then I find myself willingly going down that path. It's like, <laughs> what is this? It's, it's, it's the nature of flesh. And sometimes we don't say no when we should be saying no. And sometimes we don't say yes when we should be saying yes. Sometimes we just find ourselves in that place. But there's grace in all of this. There's grace in all of this word that if you want to quit doing something, don't expect God to take that away from you if you're not willing to, to suffer in the flesh to get rid of it. And it isn't going to work for your salvation. But you do have to overcome things. We have, are people that overcome. God would have never took away my... Uh, my uh, drug addiction that I had at one time as being a wounded child, getting healed by the Lord, um, that that addiction I had at one point in my life, I would have never overcame that had I not had a desire and the will to do that. We have to have the desire and we have to have the will. We might desire something, but if we don't enact the will to do it, to set our faces forward like flint, we're not going to be able to do it. And that's the way it is with our walk. Are we going to serve the Lord? Are we going to serve ourselves? Are we going to serve the enemy? Are we going to serve the world? What are we going to serve? Who are we going to serve? And we as a people have to get real about this, this thing. It's not about playing 
here. It's not about playing church, <laughs> playing religion, playing house. It, it, it is a lifestyle, it is a choice that we make to go through the hard things, to overcome the hard things. We don't overcome them because they're easy. We overcome them because they're hard. Ooh, I just got to chill on that one. We don't, we don't begin to overcome until our desire and will come together and the Lord anoints that to happen. If you're trying to quit something in your life, if you're trying to make a decision about something in your life, the desire may be there, but if the will's not there to do it, God's not going to force anything on you. He's not going to force you to serve Him. He's not going to force you to overcome in those areas that you know you need to overcome in. If you're selfish and stingy, begin to step out and give. If you don't like to volunteer, but you know the God that God's leading you in that direction, the God of your salvation is <laughs> leading you in that direction, then step out and begin to volunteer. I know it sounds easy, but that's what you have to do. And, and to serve God, and to walk with the Lord, and to be greater in your walk, you have to begin to take the step. You know, uh, choose this day whom you will serve. Choose. That's the key word. And, and Joshua 24, 15 is choose. Desire and will. A lot of times we vacillate. In other words, we go back and forth in these things. And, and it drives us to a point of madness, to a point of condemnation, to a point of self-loathing, to a point of anger, to a point of unforgiveness, to a point of this, to a point of that. And when we make the decision and we step over the chicken line, we begin to see, to see the fruits of what we're doing. It's not always easy, my brothers and sisters, but if we don't step out in the name of Jesus and begin to walk this walk of faith, through faith, by faith, for faith, because of the faith that he's poured into us, then then uh, we haven't really made a decision. We're on the fence. In Revelation, uh, Jesus talks about being hot or cold. I'd rather have you hot or cold. Because if you're lukewarm, I'm going to spit you out of my mouth. I'm just saying what the Word says. You know, this, this walk is a walk of choice, and we have to make a decision. We have to make a decision what we're going to do. Desire and will. And everybody has those two things within them. And they just have to sometimes reach down and grab that will and force it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Glory. And... Uh, I just praise the Lord for this uh, time, and I just want to say thank you for coming and sitting with me, and I just want to bless your day, and I thank you, Lord, for my brothers and sisters. I just release over them life and wholeness, health and peace and prosperity in every area of their lives, in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory. <laughs> Glory. Should I or shouldn't I? Glory. Well, let's, let's, uh, I have to work, I have to practice something here, so I'm going to just, uh, practice it here. I, I don't like using a pick. I'm not good at it. I'm not good at anything really here when it comes to playing the guitar, but I'm getting better. But uh, I think we're going to probably do this on Monday. There is power, power, wonder-working power in my blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, By Lord, by and by, there's a better home waiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. <laughs> you come and pay like, tell me what you want to see the sun.
on the main line, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the land. <laughs> uh, let me try that again. Glory. I forget it. Glory. Hey, have an awesome day. We'll see you. Bye.